Right. Well, my name is Ulumide Shoyombo, I'm co-founder of Leadpath Nigeria. Um, Leadpath Nigeria is a seed fund uh, specializing in providing early stage funding to tech, tech companies playing in the mobile, web, and even payment space, and also big data. And we're sitting in your um, incubator space here in Yaba. Um, describe to me how it works. What you, how, do you, how do you fund the, the startups that you fund? And can anybody come in, or how does it work? Okay, so we um, started up with the accelerator model, um, popular accelerator model, white, typical type of white combinator type of model, which is also being replicated here. And uh, we did that, we did a call for entry sometime in March, and then um, we got about 180, over 180 entries into um, our call, and we selected six startups. But quickly, um, what we saw was the accelerator model that um, we tried to replicate here, has its, has its drawbacks um, because the typical accelerator model is getting to a class after three months, there's a demo day, and then the, the cohorts and the companies go face the world. It's not going to happen here. In three, in three months, these guys are really just even getting started. Mm. So we found out that the accelerator model would, is a bit flawed, and especially in our space. So we still have to work with these companies. Even when you seed them, you still have to provide a second seed in some stages. So you found out that the runway has to be longer. And so we quickly switched from um, the typical accelerator model to more into portfolio management. And so um, right now, we'll, we're pretty much announcing that um, all entries are, are, are welcome. Uh, we identify opportunities as we see and we invest as we deem fit. And typically, how much are you giving to the startups that you have in the, in the accelerator? So it's um, twenty thousand to one hundred thousand um, dollars in this in this for, for a minimum equity for a minimum for a minimum value equity in in, in those in those companies. So something between the range of ten to fifteen percent is what we've taken in 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 our last in our last set of startups invested. And you were talking to me earlier about all sorts of examples in the in the incubator. Tell me about Sema. Okay, so Sema is. Um, is an online learning community. Um, basically, it tries to address um, basically structured learning and unstructured learning. Um, so SEMA provides the basic school management um, functionalities which you have out there. So teachers uploading notes, students um, viewing their timetable, parents checking out results or paying school fees. It does the basically school management administrative type of functions. But then SEMA is also open to um, so people who want to learn but their schools are not signed up to SEMA. So those people can also register on SEMA and participate in the learning process. So they can attend courses put up in SEMA by other facilitators. So take for example, a music producer puts up, has put up a course on how to make beats or a chef has put up a course on his chef master class. People can attend those courses or even me as a subject matter expert or anyone as a subject matter expert can create this course and invite people to learn on, on that platform and share knowledge. So SEMA allows them to upload notes, videos, quizzes, assignments, attend live classes. So it becomes a, an online learning community, both for structured learning and unstructured learning also. And you've got one called RSVP. What does RSVP do? Okay, RSVP is actually founded by two ex-University um, College London graduates who moved back to focus on this project. So that showed dedication for us. Um, they're trying to address um, an area that comes social payment. So basically people make payments and especially Nigerians in diaspora sending money back home is usually for a social need, uh, so an event or to help someone or an occasion. So um, something like a wedding. Something like a wedding. So for example, I'm, I'm getting married or someone's getting married. Um, it sets up an RSVP page the same way you would set up a Facebook event page and from there you, you register, once you register, you register also with your bank account number and um, people can then, um, you can send out payment invites to your Facebook friends, Twitter friends or people on your contacts. They get that invite and they can come to the RSVP platform and then they can, to, for example, make a payment for, in Nigeria we have what's called Ashwebi, like the wedding, the clothes people wear to weddings. Yeah. Um, so people typically would wear the same clothes and pay for that. You can, people can pay for the Ashwebis, people can pay for, um, give you a gift, yeah. um, give you a cash gift via the platform. And on your side, you have a statement telling you who's contributed. They can also decide to make the payment um, public on your page. Mm. 
And so you can use that for events, you can use that for occasions. Um, a music concert can use it for ticketing. Yeah. If you have the platform, um, you can use it for a good cause. So it's almost like events management also meeting crowdfunding. And the last one is uh, I want to talk about is you register. Okay. All right. So you register is pretty much trying to distribute funds um, seamlessly. Um, you register is trying to do with the, taking out the paper the paper challenges in involved in, um, in, in forms management. So school distributing forms for common entrance examination and also wants to receive payments while they distribute, while the people fill up these forms. So um, you register allows them to create this form seamlessly, create any type of fields they want to create, even pictures, and then um, also allow them, allows them to receive payments for, um, for, those, for, for the forms being filled. Um, so a common entrance examination, for example, or a church. Basically, any, any kind of paper form you can think about, um, you register helps in the distribution of those forms seamlessly. Medital um, is actually a, one, of our, one of the platforms we found very interesting, pushed by three um, brilliant young guys from Covenant University. And I found, them, I found the team very dynamic, and I found out that they were trying to solve a problem, a problem with simple enough technology SMS based out of Africa, which is very big out here in Africa. And what they're doing is basically the problem statement is drugs don't work the way they should work because people don't take the drugs the way they should take them and how they should take them. So um, Medital allows, creates that out of hospital experience and is positioned to pharmacies and hospitals um, such that when patients walk in, Want medical, they use medical to prescribe those drugs to the patients. So a patient with malaria probably gets a malaria drug, gets some paracetamol and vitamins prescribed via medical. And when he leaves the hospital, he gets a text telling him the drugs according to the dosage he should take. And he gets a call um, right after that telling him his drugs have been sent to him. And, and basically, medical is launched in the market now um, in First Hospital. Hospital, uh, first hospital, they use pushed over a thousand reminders, so validating it. And what we are also saying now is there's a big space for the bottom of some of those text messages for um, drug manufacturers to engage to engage consumers that way. And the gap you were talking about earlier, what, what are you going to do about that gap where the seed funding doesn't last long enough, the runway isn't long enough? Yes, it's it's a it's a problem. I think is in the whole ecosystem. I think and. Um, what we're saying is, according to investment discipline and investor discipline, we have a range and we have a guide. So we'll do 20K, like I said, 100K space. And um, we find out that the guys who we even have some relationships with, um, who want to do big ticket deals, want to do the $2 million, $3 million, $4 million deals. But these companies are not going to be ready for that mm -hmm. after six months, after three months. There's a, there's a need for that growth fund. There's a funding gap. Yes, there's a big funding gap of... 200,000, 300,000, um, 500,000, even a million dollars kind of growth funding gap such that these companies can then get ready for um, a, proper, a proper series A round. And that's, what we're, that's the funding gap we're seeing in the market now. So you find out that there are some more advanced stage startups already in the ecosystem who've probably raised maybe a total of $150,000. And they're okay. They're, they're probably meeting their, their, monthly, their monthly bills, but they're not able to scale and grab land as much as they could because the guys who funded them at the seed stage have said, I'm maxed out. And then the big guys who like them and like their proposition say, you're not ready to take a $2 million, $2 million kind of funding. Mm -hmm. So they find out that they're just tiring along. So we're trying to bridge that gap also with another fund, um, which would we'll announce also in the market, um, in the ecosystem um, quite soon, that would bridge um, the kind of Growth, the growth funding gap that we see, and it will be open to both our cohorts and um, others. and others.